Hi, welcome back to Wise Monkey. And today we'll show you how to make uh, homemade uh, solution for fungus, uh, mold kind of infection for uh, various vegetation. Uh, you can see these plants. This is like uh, powdery mildew, or uh, there's also uh, other type, which are all fungus basically, and cucumber plants, watermelon, squash, uh, green peas. Any vegetation can get this uh, this sort of fungus. Now this plant is this side is pretty uh, in serious state. Just when cucumbers are coming, they started uh, this, and I wish I have uh, implemented it before. Uh, it can still survive with proper treatment uh, as soon as long as it's given like maybe two or three times a week and probably it will not be too late but for this plant it's definitely it's good it's gonna work uh, some are bacterial uh, wild or wilt bacterial wilt which is like kill this uh, this plant that's almost impossible to stop but you can uh, kill the insects and uh, uh, to slow down the uh, process. On this side, it's coming, just starting to get the mildew fungus here. And uh, anyway, we'll show you. You can uh, buy the uh, spray from the stores, which are pretty expensive, especially uh, you have to use it pretty often, or you can make a homemade solution which works as good. So I'll show you how to make it. Items needed. Uh, items you need to make the anti-fungal solution is basically water, uh, some oil. So it could be um, it could be um, <coughs> uh, canola oil or uh, mustard oil. Uh, mustard oil is pretty strong and not bad actually. Uh, canola oil or other type of vegetable oils baking soda so baking soda here's the arm and hammer baking soda and uh, everything is falling here anyway and you need a spray bottle if you don't have a spray bo bottle of spray <coughs> to uh, spray the solution then use a broom simply like a broom like this dip it in the solution and spray it on the uh, on the plants that would work and tablespoon so <coughs> The mixture is about this one gallon or about four liters of water three three spoonful of uh, oil uh, three two or three spoonfuls of uh, baking soda now this is the trick the cinnamon cinnamon uh, bark basically dry cinnamon so i i actually boil this into the water first to get the juice out of it you can also grind this grind this make powder or use the powder strong powder to uh, to mix do one or two rolls so make the mix that way and then put it in a uh, spray sprayer and spray it on the like one, uh, twice I would say every two or three days unless there's rain uh, rain kind of I wash it off now some people use uh, soap add soap to this solution but uh, I don't uh, do that because soap actually breaks down the oil and they are not if as effective uh, separately soap can work to kill the spiders and other bugs but not in this solution let's make it so I put a uh, little bit of canola oil mustard oil uh, baking soda and the juice uh, from the cinnamon sticks and now I'm gonna put it in the bottle and spray on, the, on those leaves and see how if it prevents the uh, stops it from growing if you use this mix before it happens before the fungal infection starts uh, in the plants then it's better uh, in once a week or uh, once every two weeks can can prevent it but once it started then it needs a little more often uh, until it goes away uh, so that's it uh, 
hope it works and uh, use the caution using anything as always and use at your own risk uh, do anything at your own risk uh, this is just a YouTube okay, so video put that uh, mixture into the uh, this uh, little uh, spray jar or spray can whatever it is and uh, now spray it all over check the weather forecast like if it's rain coming then that's the problem like it's gonna get washed off easily so I would do it when it's uh, rain not in the forecast and do not spray at the back of the leaves at the back of the leaves do not spray that's how where the <clears throat> it's important for the plant to survive to breed so spray only only uh, the top of the leaves thoroughly even uh, to the areas that are not infected yet all right so altogether it takes about five to ten minutes to prepare this and you can make like one gallon which is like in the stores is gonna cost like fifty sixty dollars or even more so this works better cheaper more cost efficient okay please uh, subscribe and share like the video if you like and uh, there will be more more how-to videos coming all right